money, hold up, gotta cut up, a lot of orders, dollars, quarters, wrist, water, rich, water, a bitch, on the, on the, on the, on the. loving and taking care of yourselves welcome to yet another vlog um today's fake friday so it's thursday i have school i have work you go got a new job today is the first day of school so there's so much going on and um yeah i'm just gonna finish eating my muesli while i wait for the boys to come pick me up Guys, every stunning picture of me. This is the guy behind the lens. Oh no, that's right. Oh no, that's right. Hello, tell me why we walked in, sat for five minutes, and it's like, okay, so that's it for the day. Like, literally, and these guys drove all the way from a different Yo, province, a different guys. Boundary. A different country, a different area code, passport stamped and all just for like a five minute lesson. But um, now I'm gonna head to the office and these guys, they got paid so they have money. So <laughs> we will spend money. <laughs> I, don't, I don't work with broke men so. I'm proud. I'm proud. <laughs> guys I'm playing before someone comes for me. Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel. So I just got to work and I'm the only one in the office. Well, besides my boss, everybody's working from home. So it's just me. But um, I'm actually starving. But my boss was nice enough to be like, let's get Nando's. So she knows I'm a Nando's babe and I actually have initiated her too. So just going to wait for my food, start looking at some emails, eat. And I'm probably going to go with her to some meetings. I don't really have much for the day. But then I'm just going to be working on my personal, the stuff I have on my desk, basically. I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up and then we hit the club, touchdown, gotta see what's up, area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have, who do I know from the past, hit one, she say she got a man, hit another one, it goes green, must have changed foes on the team, remember when you let me in between, that was 2017, all good, chug a look around, find one to see my type, damn my dog and he know what I like, he found me plenty in my life. I usually always order the rice with the relish and then mix in the chicken and make my own <laughs> biryani type of situation. But then now my food is here and I've prepped it, so just gonna finish off. I'm actually in the middle of doing some training for work, so I'm just gonna finish off my training, like watching the videos while I eat my food. Girl tonight, then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife, but I do know one thing though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way. Two thirty, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Two early, baby, later, you can show me. me i won't wear warm clothes so i'm just having a little tea break waiting for the water to finish boiling we have like a little cute tea station we're still in the process of decorating and stuff but then um yeah and i also had to switch on the aircon because it was off but then yeah there we go i'm actually shocked it's like past one and this is literally my first cup of tea usually i'll be like on cup three by now i was about to exaggerate and say four but then i feel like 
Hmm. In a day, I have like four cups of rooibos tea. Rooibos is just like, she's the girl she thinks she is. I love her so much and period. So, so let's see. <laughs> So I have called an Uber, if you can't tell, I'm so tired. I have called an Uber to go home and I just realized I'm all the way up here and I still have to come lock and stuff like that and I hate making Ubers wait besides the fact that they charge you. Um, I just always feel bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna run. It's been a good day at work. Um, I end up actually doing like a little one-on-one -on -one training session um, with a colleague and I was shy but then he's so nice so he was patient with me like because I feel like I'm a good teacher but then like I just I just need to prepare like I really need to prepare like you just can't call me on the spot and be like okay teach me about XYZ like I need to prepare in advance but he was very patient with me and that went well so yeah let's go home because I'm so tired guys I am so tired Good morning besties, today's Friday and I am trying to find me an uber girl <laughs> because I am just that girl to be fair I'm going far so today we're going to fix this mess like my nails are growing out and nothing's cute but then respect so I'm going back to the place I went to in my maintenance my last maintenance vlog respect though because it's been like over a month and like nothing is falling off, nothing is lifting and um, for that reason, I'm like, girl, you can take my coins, you can take my coins. So I'm going to go do my nails. Actually also have to somewhere, somehow find time to go to Randburg to look for lashes because I'm out of lashes and I'm actually not going to do any individuals today because I love individuals but then like the inconvenience of them, if it was during the week, so probably next week that's when I'll go do my individual lashes. But then like today I need me some strip lashes and I'm not gonna pay one fifty for one pair of lashes. So we're gonna go to Randburg for that. And um yeah, cheers besties while I wait for my Uber. Every A girl ain't gonna get copyrighted. So, um, lunch didn't happen, clearly. Um, the time is, hey Google, what's the time? It's 6.39 p.m. Oh shit, I'm actually running late. But then, um, lunch didn't happen. I came home, took a nice good nap when I should have cleaned. But I ended up taking a nap. And then we're like, okay, we'll just go straight to Rockets. So I'm getting Rockets ready, just finished my makeup and my hair. And... I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Because my friend is hot. My friend is a hot girl. So I already know she's coming through with it. Like, weather isn't a thing. Like, baddies don't get cold. Baddies do not get cold. So I'm just gonna get dressed. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna take you guys to Rockets. But probably if I have like a few clips with my phone, we'll just do a little bit of B roll. And then y'all have to say hi to my bestie. Because I mean, like, there's no point taking my camera to vlog when obviously copyright music and all of that good stuff but then um yeah that's what we're doing now i'm probably gonna show you guys my outfit before i leave um if i can figure out what i'm gonna wear and i'm running late so yeah sorry i'm so excited guys let's see my best friend what do you mean i see my best friend what do you even mean guys <sighs> life is just so perfect don't you feel like 
when you with your friends life just makes sense like i'm seeing my best friend honey anyways let me get ready guys let me get dressed actually okay so i'm wearing my flare jeans if you guys know you know them and i'm wearing this cute little orange top which i wore in cape town because it has like a bottom orange two-piece but i was like hmm let me just switch it up and wear the top of the jeans because it is cold and even though i'm a baggie i wouldn't even like us may i get cold so <laughs> For control, I just decided to wear pants even though apparently they're all wearing dresses. But then to be honest, I look quite cute. Like if this place wasn't messy, I would have shown you guys in the mirror. But like, mm, that's so messy. Saturday and it is actually half seven. I woke up 30 minutes ago and guys, I don't like alcohol, hey? But then yesterday alcohol was nice. <laughs> but then I did mention I am not an alcohol drinker. I do not like the way alcohol makes me feel in the morning. But then like we didn't even do too much. I think. I'm not a champagne drinker, <laughs> but we drank champagne and I just don't like the feeling champagne ciders give you. Like, it feels like my, my stomach is just full of gas this morning, like, and it feels inside out. I don't know if that's making sense. But anyways, that's besides the point. The point of me sitting here um, with my water. Yo, I drank water like 10 times. I was like getting up, um, like, each and every hour to drink water. I think that's why I don't feel groggy this morning. I actually feel good. But... Another thing this morning, I woke up so grateful. Um, I woke up very grateful. I just jumped into filming. I'm realizing that I didn't even pray and thank God like for feeling like this. Like, you know when a baby wakes up and you're like kind of confused and then they turn and see their mom is dead and they kind of just like relax back. That was like the feeling today, you know? Like, I woke up a little bit anxious like for two seconds and then like everything just came back from yesterday and like the past weeks and man god has been showing up for me and at some point when i was tr um driving back my uber coming back from the nails such an interesting conversation with the uber driver he was asking me you know like oh have you struggled in life you don't look like a person who's struggling how's life for you now is life tough and you know it's so easy to just swing into saying yeah life is tough but i was very honest i'm like no at this point, I won't lie to you, life isn't tough. Like, God has been coming through for me because He really is. And I, guys, life is just so much about perspective, you know, at certain points in your life. Because sometimes, you know, it's just been so many, I don't even want to say bad things happening, but then, like, so many redirections because I don't believe bad things happen um, to harm you, but then more so to, like, redirect you, like, God saying, hey, you know, I you didn't get accepted to this university because I actually want you to go here, that kind of thing. So, um, so many redirections and you just feel like even the smaller inconveniences just feel so magnified. And then you just end up being very unappreciative when light starts to show itself in your life. And I'm just, I just thank God, like, I'm not like that. Like, light is showing itself in my life and I can recognize it so, so much. And... It's just nice to wake up and not be a sad little <laughs> So I just arrived at ARC um, Took such a long time getting ready and all of that good stuff So I couldn't film that but then I just arrived at ARC for um, the MAC event and I'm super excited so I did get a goodie and I'm here, I'm glad I'm not late I know you guys are always saying I'm late but for the first time besties I am literally not late but then yeah guys that's fine and um, I want to say something but I just forgot to make you 
feel um, a certain type of way rather than the traditional mold of beauty being about something that's a perpetual striving that you never get to, that's so completely unattainable, and that's fundamentally about desirability and inclusivity. And my point and what I always put out is that the responsibility is in each person. For you to want to be spoken of or represented, you actually need to be honest with yourself about who you are, what you're experiencing. Be loud about it so you are included. For us, and that's, that's, that's again inclusivity, and I think that's how Mac gets it right. And also, if you walk into a Mac store, doesn't matter what you look like, doesn't matter who you are, and that's why I chose to work for a brand that celebrates me. Because you can only imagine, if I go to another brand, they're gonna tell me, please wear a suit. I like crop tops and shorts. So that's not gonna work for me. Hey Bestie, so this just got done. It was such a wholesome conversation. You guys know anything that has to do with inclusivity, is so okay, I'm there. So I feel just so blessed to be in these kinds of rooms, listening to these kind of conversations. But enough about that, I'm only going to stick around for a little bit. And then I did say I want to go shopping, and Sahara just landed. <laughs> Sahara just landed. So, and she's already launching me, asking, hey, let's <laughs> No worries, yeah. do it as, as you should. Thank you so much for having me. I absolutely, I absolutely so love the listening in on the conversation. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope you had fun as well. I did, I did. I'll probably stick around in the mall because there's stuff I want to buy. And I'm so terrified of like going into this game and spending 2 million rand. But then, overall, beautiful event. I was so happy to be here. And um, yeah. <laughs> Hi to the subscribers. <laughs> Hi subscribers. <laughs> so I'm getting Did a I... vlogging tripod finally because I do not have a vlogging tripod and mine have been breaking and breaking and apparently this brand is good. We're at camera land so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I feel like I'm finally investing in my craft because the other lenses which I bought don't really count since YouTube is the one that was sponsoring them. Now I'm buying with my own money, guys. Like an entire tripod for for 1K because like I kept buying from like Pakistani shops and they'll just break. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get the actual thing because right now, as I'm vlogging, I'm literally holding the camera. So you're gonna you gotta you really got a little tripod or whatever. <laughs> Everybody scream. I'm in Mac. I stopped by Mac because I really want a foundation that's actually my shade and y'all know mine is like way lighter and it's just hard to work with. Especially when you can't beat your face. So I'm just trying to not be impulsive because it's like a whole 580 and I just bought a tripod which I didn't even plan to buy. So we'll see. But I really want this foundation. I can find my perfect shade because a girlie like me can never find her perfect shade. Then I will be perfect. What do you mean, guys? This is literally my shade. There ain't no way, guys. You see, I tried to save money but then like I literally found my perfect shade, there's no way I'm going to leave it. That's crazy. my face this is after like a few touch-ups I know I did not walk in looking this gorgeous oh yes 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 I think there's like a whole complex that like darker girls can't wear blush I so it's very interesting it is yeah. it really is Guys, oh my goodness, I'm in exclusive books and I want to scream because I've read this book and I've read this book, I've read Verity, I've read Reminders of Him, I've read November 9, I've read Ugly Love and I always wanted like these books in hard copies, I had no idea exclusive books had like a whole entire section dedicated to 
books from TikTok, like everybody scream. So it's now Sunday and like there's just so much going on. So Tabile actually came, then we went out, but then we're having like some serious chats. So I couldn't even vlog anything, but then the food was, was good. We were at La Parada and then um, came back home. We slept because she slept over and she actually just left now. Tell me why yesterday my electricity finishes just when she arrives and then when I was trying to put more... Um, the meter is basically faulty, hence why you can hear it making noise. Right now I'm speaking to you and I have literally no electricity. I'm not gonna have electricity for the whole day till tomorrow. And there's not even load shedding. I think that's the mad that's the part that makes me mad. Like if there was load shedding, at least I'd be like, okay. Anyways, it's load shedding. But then right now everybody else has electricity. Like I'm looking at other people, everybody else has electricity except for me. But um yeah, I'm not gonna sweat that. I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So tell me why oh so from arc like that package which i show you that they gave us from mac i got two mac brushes and i'm super excited because y'all know these brushes are cheap so to have high-end brushes high-end brushes are not cheap at all so i'm super excited to have it and then i got um the russian red lipstick i think i've had ruby woo before like long ago like two three years ago so um yeah and then I also, after the ARC um, item, you guys did see me go into MAC. And then this is the new shade um, they matched me with. This is the NW45. So this is like for people with warmer undertones, unlike the NC shades. Those are for people with cooler undertones. So, and then I stepped into this Kim and I got this cloth. I've, I've used it before, but I only use it for like a week. Then when I went to Pretoria with Sia, I left it at like the Airbnb we're staying at and it's so expensive. Okay, not expensive, it's like 100 rand, but then I mean like I'd only use it for a week. And then I'm hopping onto the sunscreen. I've seen all the girlies rave about it, so I want to see what the hype is. It's the Derm Opal sunscreen. And because you shouldn't be getting expensive, guys. <laughs> I think Userin is like it's 250 for that little one. So this was just 100 rand and it's quite it's quite big, so yeah and then i want to get back into sheet masks i haven't done one in a long time so i got this mask oh my word i got this mask by skin republic a hy hyaluronic acid sheet mask then i got floss and i got a new toothbrush and toothpaste and hand cream, I swear by this cream for my handbag, like I don't use any other cream. So my current one is finishing and I got a new one. And you guys already know, shield dry confidence. If you don't know, now you know. And of course, you guys once again already know um, this stuff. Like I actually stopped using the soothing care one and I hopped onto this one that has jasmine petals and coconut milk. And she smells so good. Oh, I even forgot I bought this. So. I lost my eyeliner, so I got this Essence eyeliner and some gum for my handbag. I'm so excited about this because I wanted to try and see. Ooh, I love her. I love her. I don't know if you guys can see that. I love her. I love her. Because I was just like buying her. I've never seen anyone talk about her or anything. So I was just, I was just a very wild card. I forgot I bought this. But then yeah, that's all I bought right now. I've got work to do, work that's due today, so, and I've not got no electricity, so I'm actually going to go into the office on a Sunday, yes, to um, work, and I'm not even mad about it because I love the office, guys, I really love my workplace, I, want, I love my workspace, whether I'm alone or whether I'm with um, my department, I love them so much, so I really love being at work, so I'm not even mad about that, I'm just like, uh, you know, it's Sunday, you just want to sit in bed, but then I have to work, so... I'm actually going to close off the vlog here. So many things that were supposed to happen didn't happen because today was actually supposed to be one of my friends' birthday picnics, but then that got postponed. So it was supposed to be like a cute, wholesome Sunday. Now I'm sitting here at home and with work and no electricity. Can you imagine? But I'm not even mad about it. Like I said, I'm just in a state of constant gratitude for like what's actually going right in my life. So I'm not even bummed. Even like the beeping, I'm not even bummed about that. I'm honestly just happy 
to be here as corny as that sounds but i love you guys so much um i hope this vlog is not over, all over the place if it is then this is my life <laughs> my life isn't as organized as you may think it is but yeah i love you guys so much until next time I want you a minute, I want you as magic, a person